Number 81. Two different electrical devices have the same power consumption, but one is meant to be operated at 120 volts and the other at 240. Letter A, what is the ratio of their resistances? All right, so first thing is we got to take into account that these things have the same power. In other words, that means that the power uh, consumed by one of them will equal the power consumed by the other. Now, since they want us to find a ratio of the resistances and they're giving me voltages, I now have to think about how is resistance and voltage related to uh, power. And the way it's related is through the equation over here on the right-hand uh, right side that power is equal to V squared over R. So what we need to now do is substitute that on in. So this would be V1 squared over R1 equals V2 squared over R2. So now they want to find the ratio of their resistances. So depends on how you want to uh, organize this. You want it R2 over R1 or R1 over R2. Doesn't matter. Doesn't give us any guidance. The ratio, it will, it, it will be different, but it will represent the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve it for R2. So do a little cross key like that. And all you got to now do is just plug in the values. So R2 over R1 will equal V2, which was the 240, I'll call it, over then the 120. Both of those were squared. And what you'd realize is when you calculate that, you would get an answer of four. So that'd be the ratio R2 to R1. So that takes care of letter A. So let's look at letter B. What is the ratio of their currents? All right, same thing. So power one is equal, equal to power two. Now I gotta think about how these two are related. I can use uh, P is equal to IV. So in other words, this would be I1 V1 is equal to I2 V2. And again, maybe I'll solve it for I2 over I1. Doesn't really matter. So I'm going to cross multiply this on down. And I'm going to cross multiply this on down as well. And you can now clearly see how we create that fraction. So all I now need to do is plug in the uh, values that the current two, which I'm calling the, you know, 120 volt uh, apparatus uh, divided by the current one will equal then V1, which in this case was 120 over then 240. Okay, and that's all we got to do. So just simply plug it on in, and we're going to realize that we're going to come out to a value of about one half. And then letter C. Uh, assuming its resistance is unaffected, by what factor will the power increase if 120 volts is connected to 240? So in this particular case, they're saying resistance is unaffected. In other words, R1 must equal R2. Now we have to think about, well, they're talking, they want to know by what factor will the power increase and they're giving us voltages. So we have to figure out how is resistance, power and voltage related. And it is related via the equation. Power is equal to V squared over R. Now solve this for R this time. So I just do a little swap ski and I realize that R will be equal to V squared over P or the voltage squared over the power. So now if I call this R1, then this would be V1 squared over P1. And then this would be V2 squared over P2. Doesn't matter how you solve this for the ratio. I'm going to solve it for P2 over P1. So just do a little cross multiplication here. Move your variables around. See how easy that is. And now we're just going to solve P2 over P1 is going to be equal to V2. And we call that in this case, the 240 squared over then the 120 squared. And this works out to be four again. So that's it guys. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Take care.